Our next speaker is Maria Fischer, who is the director of Staria. She has a PhD, and Staria is, as many of you probably know, a Finnish growth company, um, which is, its focus is on robotic process automation. And Maria is also the chairman of the, or should I say chairperson, of the Tekes Lideri program, which provides support for Finnish companies in the internationalization process through digitalization, um, better leadership, and employee well-being. And she's also a member of the National Artificial Intelligence Group. That sounds very interesting and intriguing. So let's give a round, round of applause and a warm welcome to Maria Fischer. good that somebody's taking care of me. Uh, it's uh, a privilege to be here, born in Helsinki and, and, uh, and enjoy the city. Uh, today's title is Sata Liekeissä and I think it's, uh, it's kind of embedded many words and it's about energy, I, it's about momentum, uh, it's about um, positivity and I think these are the elements that I how I see the, the world from my own perspective. Uh, when I was preparing this, uh, probably it was in the, it, the deadline was <laughs> in the Independence Day. I was wondering who, is, who was waiting for my presentation on, on Tuesday. But however, I was, uh, I was walking to, and uh, we have the city hall there. Uh, I was walking to, to see the, the 100 flags in, in, the, uh, in the marketplace and was thinking about what, what should I, what should I talk today? And I think for me, the uh, main topic, my, my dream is, and where I focus all my energy, is the flourishing Finland, the flourishing people. And I think this is also the team what I want to share with you. What is going to be the next 100 years? Uh, I want to share you with the um, picture that was published in, in, in Finland uh, in October from the Artificial Intelligence uh, National Group by uh, Pekka Alapietila. Uh, and in this picture, I think the, you can see that in the, in the center of the, of the whole, what is what the artificial intelligence and technology is all about, it's about the flourishing individual, it's about the flourishing citizen. And I think we've heard today that the, uh, everything that the smart city is all about, it's, it's about helping individuals to, to feel safe and to get things seamless so the seamless kind of support, what all the technology can provide. But I, I, I think that it's very important to remember whatever technology we are creating, we will never replace the human interaction. And I think this is very important to, to, to keep in mind. So what we are looking from uh, the artificial intelligence perspective uh, is that we, we really need to have this efficient public sector. Decision makers should look for for those decisions that will in enable our, our citizens, ourselves, uh, uh, to, to, to make our lives easier. And, and of course, the same what, what uh, uh, Pekka, Pekka Tietinen said about the customer experience. I think since in this uh, context, we all the time have to ask how, what kind of services we as citizens, we want. And uh, sometimes uh, we have found some examples that, uh, not to mention, the tram tram stuff when you go to a tram and and and, and you try to to pay your your uh, your journey how how difficult the, the system was in the beginning now it's getting smoother but however you know to make things uh, uh, customer customer oriented at the same time we need to have uh, new businesses uh, flourishing finland wouldn't be flourishing helsinki wouldn't be there if we don't support like like Tekes is supporting the organizations to find new ways to compete and, and, and build the, uh, in the uh, international competitiveness. But of course, uh, the future, we need to predict the future. And, and, and Major was talking about this predictability, that how we can, how we can help the, uh, the, the society uh, to build the, the predictivity, what, what, is, what is happening in 20, 30, 50 years. If we look at the uh, actions, uh, technical actions that are needed, um, 
uh, and looking from the artificial intelligence perspective, because I think that's something that is coming, it's really looking for the future, uh, is that the... Um, so we, we see that really using the, the technology will, will actually uh, boost the, the, the Finnish, uh, Finnish uh, uh, entrepreneur, uh, 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 businesses uh, towards the um, uh, internationalization. So it's really a tool for us. But of course it's important that we need to have the data. We heard that from major that Helsinki is one of the uh, uh, cities that have shared a lot of information for the, for the citizens. I think this in a wider perspective we need to really open the data sources because without that we, we don't have, have the capability of utilizing the artificial intelligence. And I think what is important we have uh, uh, to, to make it kind of uh, uh, understandable what is this is all about. This is it's very simple things what, what is happening and uh, especially the usability how how we citizens can utilize how it's helping our our everyday life how the uh, technology how the the um, uh, systems are supporting uh, the elderly people uh, uh, ourselves when we are, are are in in our daily operations so I think it's important to open up what what it really means it's nothing it's no threat it's an opportunity and of course we need to have in Finland uh, expertise and, and, and we really have to support the, the, the uh, recruitment uh, outside Finland to get the, get the uh, uh, expert to, to here. But of course we need bold decisions. I mean, we cannot make the difference if we, don't, we are not uh, having the courage to make, make even hard decisions. And uh, of course the target is to, to build uh, the world's best public sector. I mean, in leader uh, program, we we had uh, we have been supporting a lot of companies, and and and, and I, I think uh, the main topic is not about the technology; it's about the leadership. It's about how we can really get people uh, motivated to come along, uh, both in, in in organizations as well as in in the society. How we can get people to have the energy and share the energy together. And of course, the new way of collaboration, so that uh, nobody can do this alone. And I think it's if we can be the role model Helsinki uh, together with other cities. I think we need to to join other cities and not only talk about Helsinki, but to to make a, a joint effort. And of course, we want to be a forerunner in the artificial intelligence or anything re related to smart city. Uh, I had kind of uh, three areas that I would like to state in, in, the, in my speech. So what is needed from us all? And if I look at individuals, we, uh, we all are citizens, either in Helsinki or, in, on, or, or other cities. I think we should really have this positive attitude that I can. I can do these things. I'm, 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 uh, I'm capable of... of uh, of uh, surviving in this changing work life. Um, we, we talk about, I mean, I'm, I'm running a software robotics team and I'm making uh, software robotics really, my aim is to really get rid of the routines and making it happen so that we can bring back the work that we have uh, outsourced to emerging countries that we can really have those works back, back from, from, uh, from those, uh, from Asia and, and, and Eastern, Eastern Europe to really build the businesses in Finland uh, using the robotics. But I think we really kind of on an individual level, we, we have to believe in these, these missions and these dreams and, and really actively jump to the unknown. And we need resilience. Uh, our lady was talking this morning about CISO and I think it's, uh, we, have the, we have this uh, own uh, capability characteristics in Finland. So let's uh, focus on that and take our strength, our energy from the resilience and, and, and trust that, that the everything will be okay in the end. From the public sector, I think uh, it's a very, I was talking, uh, talking, having my speech for the, the head of the, the minister, mi ministers and, uh, and uh, they were asking me that what should we do now, Maria? And I said, wow, I need to get three, three 
three slogans of three things what should be done and i said that well if the if the all the, the ministers would start to cooperate that would make a big difference already so i think that from the citizens perspective uh, we should have the service seamless whether whether it's it's the uh, the uh, minister of education or minister of of uh, of uh, whatever ministers we have. So I, I think it, this is an important uh, topic. The open data source and then of course to have the support for the, uh, the uh, international recruitments that we have the, the experts in Finland. But I think for the uh, uh, organizations uh, have also big and important role. Uh, need to have this attitude for growth. We need to have the execution capability. There was a research just recently about Finnish startup companies compared to Swedish, Norwegian, Danish, uh, uh, German and, no, and, and, and Dutch companies and uh, this, the result was that we have a lot of, en we have a lot of new ideas, we have a lot of uh, uh, good spirit but we, we really lack the execution and I think this is something that, that we need to execute is not about making good plans and, 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 and strategies about how to make things happen and the momentum. I think the momentum is here now. We cannot wait. We have to move. And uh, let's move together today. Have the energy. Thank you.